Hey, it's been a while since I put a video up, so I think it's about time to get one up. Uh, just want to put up a quick one based on some uh, experience here. I went to Christian Sunshine Fest in Wisconsin last week with some of the youth. And I uh, just want to talk about one of my experiences there and uh, talk a little bit about being an example. Uh, the Lord tells us in Scripture that by your love for one another, you shall know they are my disciples. And I tell you what, being in a Christian uh, festival like that, I really saw a whole lot of the opposite. And I know that there was a, a lot of unbelievers there, but for the most part, I thought it was believers. And uh, me and some of the youth volunteered at Sunshine Fest, at Sunshine Fest and our, our job was to handle the gates and uh, make sure people had their armbands and they were following the rules. And one of the rules was no personal food and drinks. And because it was so hot and muggy out, they even bent the rules a little and allowed people to bring in one water bottle, whether it was full or empty or whatever, or one container that they could fill water in. Um, there was water filling stations all over the compound. And it was unbelievable in those uh, three days that we served at the gate, four and a half hours each day, of how many people snapped off on us. Um, like we were the ones that made up the rules or something. And it went, I'd have to say at least 50% of the people went through there had an issue with us doing this. And in one instance, this older woman, I'm going to say she was probably in her late 30s, early 40s, um, really snapped off on me. Um, I tried showing people the, <laughs> the sign that was right there at the gate. There were signs at every gate. There was the rules and the programs everybody was handed. So people were aware ahead of time what they were and weren't allowed to bring in the gate. So it wasn't like I was telling them anything new. Um, but this lady acted like I just made this rule up at the last second and she snapped off on me. She got vulgar with me and eventually threw water at me. Um, and this, this is one of the things I talked about on Facebook, how I knew my transformation was real because that would have not been good for her or anybody around me seven years ago. Uh, after she threw all the vulgarities and stuff at me, that was one thing. But when she threw the water at me, I turned around, I headed toward the gate and I was going to call my bro, Chris Parker, who was in charge of all this to let him handle it because I was done. And as I was walking toward the gate, I remember the only thing going on in my mind was grace, grace, grace. I just kept saying that. And before I got to the walkie talkie, I turned around and went back and I said, listen, man, I'm just a pastor who came here with some of my youth to serve. And then she threw at me, well, not all pastors are good and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, listen to what I'm saying. I'm just here to serve. I, the, I didn't make these rules up and, and she wasn't trying to hear me. So I just let it go at that. And uh, after that confrontation, I sat down with the other three volunteers that were there with me, two ladies and, and one of my youth. And uh, I told them, I, you know, there's people all around us. And I'm like, this is one of the main problems <laughs> with our youth today and why they're acting like they're acting. Because that is the example that our youth are seeing. There's people watching us. They already, if, if they know that we're Christians, they're already watching us hardcore. But people are examples. Everybody is an example. You're either a good example or you're a bad example. And in our society today, we see more bad examples than everything else. And even if the kids get a good example at home, they're seeing this kind of stuff all over the place. I see it on a daily basis. People snapping off at clerks and stores and out on, the, you know, in traffic and, and everywhere, just bad examples. And this is where our children learn from. And I sat down, I was telling these, these other two ladies, I'm like, here's the problem. All right, this is what our kids learn from. Even at a Christian concert, our kids are coming in here and they're seeing people act like this and think it's okay. And, and so what do they do? They grow up learning these, these habits, man. And not five minutes after I told this lady that, four students came down that were sitting on the hill, which I, I didn't really know. They were sitting on the hill. They came down and came over to us and said, we just want to thank you for handling that the way you did. There's no way that we could have handled that the way you did. And we want to give you a, we give you a lot of respect for handling that because uh, we couldn't have done that. And what a perfect example. I looked over at the lady. I'm like, see, people are watching. And I just want to bring up a couple script, quick scriptures and I'll let you go, especially for our youth. 1 Timothy 4, 11, says, 11 and 12, command and teach these things. Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in what? In speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Kids, you got as much 
example setting as we do. And believe me, my eyes are on the students, man, because if I see students that are respecting people and being kind and obedient and showing love, man, I'm going to give you all the props in the world because there ain't enough of that going on. But here's the other main scripture in Matthew 5, chapter, chapter 5, verse 6. In the same way, let your light shine, whose light? My light, shine before others so that they, those around us, like those kids on the hill, may see your good works. But wait a minute, Brian, good works, yeah, here's why. And give glory to your Father in heaven. Believe me, seven years ago it wouldn't have been good for that lady. But I was able to give props to Jesus because he changed me. And because he changed me and I'm becoming more Christ-like every day, then this was able to happen. Now let me tell you the rest of the story. The next day I hear, hey, pastor, and I turn around, here's this lady the one who snapped off on me. And we had a pretty kind conversation. She apologized to me, kind of, and uh, we had a good talk. But the last day of the event, I found out that this lady was camped out next to security up on a hill, and they had found out that just recently, she found out her father had terminal cancer. Hurt people hurt people. When people act like that toward you and have attitudes and are bullying, there's something going on in their life. And that's another reason why to be a good example or not snap off on somebody because we need to shine the light to them people too. God bless you all and I'll see you next time.